it's already happening we are running out of cars new or used and i'm not even joking if you are shopping for one between now and most likely 2023 you're either not going to get the one that you want or you're going to pay much more for it why because car makers are having to shut down or slow down their entire factories because of the chip shortage we are running out of chips and not the delicious kind these little suckers the computer microchips are going to make you very unhappy if you are shopping for a car this or next year so what is happening why and when will things get back to normal i'll tell you all about it right now Ooh, welcome to e4 electric don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss all of the exciting news that we talk about every week first things first what are these microchips well every single part of every car and most consumer electronics like tv sets cell phones microwaves they all need these little smart mini brains running every part of it in the car, they do almost everything that makes your car work. From monitoring the battery and telling you when it needs to be charged, firing off the airbags on impact, to letting you lock your doors, pair up your phone, control the temperature and the volume of your speakers, and can go on and on, but I, but I won't. Because a modern car nowadays runs on over 3,000 of these. And then I will run out of chips. But here's the thing, the car industry makes up a fraction of the overall chip demand because all of you need the latest iPhone, iMac, iPad, and a PlayStation as soon as they come out, so each member of your family uh, would have at least one of these. Because, you know, Dexter reruns are not going to watch themselves. Who else is excited about Dexter coming back? Comment section? Now, the type of a chip that cars use is pretty outdated and a very much an old school type of a chip. So the chip makers know that they need to make these dinosaur chips, but they don't want to invest into their factories that are making them. And because of that, the chip makers are prioritizing bigger clients who produce smartphones, video games, and other consumer electronics leaving the automotive industry with very few supplier options. On top of that, car makers only order them on as-needed basis, kind of last second, because they don't want to store those chips at their facilities. Yes, they are treating their supply chain management like getting milk at a liquor store at 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's always there, but it's probably a little spoiled, it's definitely overpriced, and you may or may not get stabbed at the parking lot. That pushes the car makers down even further on the chip makers priority list. So as you can see, pretty poor planning on the part of the auto industry. I mean, not pulling out of the war poor planning, but poor planning nevertheless. So what can go wrong now? Well, a few things, and I'll tell you all about it in just a second. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by the Volkswagen ID4 EV, which I am now a proud owner of. Some cool features I enjoy are gesture and haptic controls, as well as wireless app connect with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for compatible phones. Plus, it also comes with three years of unlimited charging at Electrify America DC Fast Charger. See if you will love the ID4 as much as I do by exploring the link in the description of this video. So when you need 3,000 chips per car and you don't have enough of those because you haven't really secured the supply, you have to stop making cars. Now we get to the big question. What caused the chip shortage? Well, there is no surprise that one of the things that didn't help was the production facilities shutting down due to COVID. On top of that, the same silicon that is used in manufacturing the chips is also used to make the vaccine vials. So the cost went up and the availability went down. But that's not all. Because more people have been stuck at home for over a year, wasting their time watching YouTube, I'm sure you know some of them, people started buying electronics that require chips, like laptops, game consoles, etc. But that's not all either. Because of the US-China trade war in 2020, the US government has placed restrictions on China's biggest chip manufacturer because of their ties to the Chinese military-industrial companies, which created a national security concern. And that's it. No, it isn't. 
there is more because some chip manufacturers are located in Taiwan and this year's drought in Taiwan has also caused issues because some chip manufacturers use ultra pure water to clean their factories and semiconductor material and because of the water shortage they had to limit the production. That's right, the reason you cannot buy your next gas guzzling SUV is because the climate change played a little drought joke on you in a place that you probably can't point out on the map. And it's not just the auto industry that is going through this. Other big industries worldwide are delaying production. Sony said that it's not going to be able to make enough of the new PS5s and Microsoft will have the same issues with the new Xbox. Several cell phone makers have delayed or outright canceled some of their new models. The iPhone 13 and the Samsung Galaxy S21 are delayed delayed. The Samsung Galaxy Note 21 was canceled altogether and the Google Pixel 5a, the phone that I have my eye on, is only releasing in the US and Japan instead of worldwide. And I can go on and on and on. Now think about it. How are your kids supposed to look cool in front of your neighbor's kids if they're using outdated cell phones and game consoles from all the way like January? That's a real problem. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Can't we just build more chip factories? Well, here's the thing. Chip factories can cost 10 billion or more and take three to five years to finish. Now, Tesla is trying to go around the problem by using the microcontrollers instead of the integrated circuits, but because of that, it had to write a lot of new software to integrate the chips into the existing systems. Bottom line is that there is really no quick solution to this. And much like with a lot of things that we have to wait on to get back to normal, like hugging your grandmother or not yelling at each other at school board meetings, this one will be yet another one. Experts estimate that most likely it will take anywhere from one to two years to resolve the shortage. As a result, the new car prices are going up and those people who cannot afford the higher prices or cannot find the car they want are going for the used cars, which in return are raising the used car prices as well. Some used Tesla models, for example, are being sold at the same price as they were purchased at as brand new. Now that's crazy. So hold on to your wheels because this is going to be a bumpy and expensive ride. But meanwhile, don't forget to join me for my weekly live streams every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific and we don't run out of chips ever. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.